But if you are sincere and serving your Guru, like Krishna has told, like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has told, like Srimad Bhagavad has told, you should try to know that he is of Astral Krishna. And go on. Developing your bhakti in his guidance. Then gradually your, your onnath will go. But you have not taken initiation from any high class of superior Vaishnava. And you are not taking shelter of Bhagavat and Bhagavat. Go. Granta Bhagavat and Bhakta Bhagavat. And Bhakta Bhagavat. That, then your onnath can go. So try to remove your anath. And we have discussed also all these things from the first chapter of first canto, canto of Srimad Bhagavad. Everything. You should try to remember all these things. Then it may be your bhakti will be nice to But even you are taken uh, first second initiations. <coughs> oh, there may be so many anarchs, unwanted anarchs. And at that time, your bhakti is unnice chiki. Unsteadiness. Unsteadiness. At that time, so many problems may come, but don't give up association. Otherwise, you will leave everything. So, what is that? A stage of unsteady, unsteadiness bhakti. Oh, you can speak in. What type, what kinds of they are? Utsamai, Ghantara, Tarangarini, Yul Bukalpa, Pishai Tarangarini. So, as the Guru command me to discuss about Anishthita Bhakti means unsteadiness stage of Bhakti. You have heard us before that Nishtha means steadiness. When steadiness will come in your bhakti, then you have some hope that you will increase in Krishna consciousness very quick. But unless until steadiness is not coming, before that there is some chance to give up bhakti even. So what is that stage? We have to know about unsteadiness bhakti. If you have some clear conception about unsteadiness bhakti, then you can give them up and being in good association, you can advance in Krishna consciousness. What is that? Srila Chaktavati Vishwanath Chaktavati Thakur. Being cosmic merciful explained all this thing in his Madhurya Kadamini Gantha. There are six types. Six types. Utsahami, Ghanatalala, Budavikalpa, Tarangarangini, Vishay Sangara, Niyamakshama. So first is Utsahamayi, means enthusiastic. Whenever you come in bhakti or any material thing, you have so much, you become so much enthusiastic. I shall do this, I shall do that. Very enthusiastic. Just like, even if he is going to school, his parents purchase some book, A for apple, B for bear, C for cat, D for dog, with picture, with colored picture. He became very happy. And he thought, oh, now I am a very learned scholar. And he went to school, and gradually, gradually, when his lesson is coming a little harder, he could not understand either parents in homeschool, or teacher twist his ear 
then you can do. Parents asking, oh my dear son, time has come, why are you not going to school? Speechless, nothing. Uh, no. Not going to school. At first he was very enthusiastic to go to school. Similarly in Bhakti stage, when you come in Krishna consciousness, seeing other devotees, seeing their activity, you become very enthusiastic. And you are chanting day and night, after that you get headache. <laughs> could not wake up early in the morning, Mangalavati, could not chant even one round after a few days. At first it was Utsavami, and when you could not maintain your all regular regulation which you see, have seen for others, we can now we can think. As people think, now we can think, called Ghanatarala. So Utsavam is enthusiastic and after that he became some thing. So as thing after the thing called Ghanatarala. Guravikalpa in decision. Oh, what shall I do now? In the time of Krishna, Lord Krishna, there are so many householders. In time of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and time of Bhajada Prasadam Bhagavan Ramchandra, so many are in Household life, what shall I do? Shall I be renounced the person or householder? Even we have seen during time of Krishna or Lord Ram or Sivan Mahaprabhu, so many renounced person even also. Even Narada Sri was renounced person who composed Narada Parivaja Upanishad. He instructs everything about renounce order. Even Narada Sri used to go to Braj, even Mother Jasoda. Nanda Baba, even Bhagavan Krishna, all Vajavasis, you should touch his feet. What shall I do? Shall I be householder or an order person? If I go, then who will take care of my family? Aho me pitaro riddhau. Oh my God. My parents are too old. If I go, they have no other person to take care. What shall I do now? Especially, I have one small kid. Whenever I come for my business, he embraces me and always welcome with his broken language. Who will take care of that? Especially my wife, too young and very nice. Who will take care of her? So what shall I do? When this kind of decision will come in your mind to increase in bhakti, this is called buddhavikalpa or indecision. After that, Vishay Sangara, you want to give up your material desire. Vishay means material thing and Sangara means to fight. You want to overcome from material thing, material desire. So you are fighting with material desire. Sometimes you are winner, sometimes you are loser. What shall I do? I don't want that holiness and chant that all this nonsense thing will come in my mind. You don't want. But ten years before somebody insult you during the chanting, that is coming in your mind. Sometimes there is some call in your supermarket with some guy, it is coming in your mind. <laughs> Twenty years before your ex-husband told something, now it is coming in your mind. So you are fighting with material desire, Vishay Sangara. <coughs> Similarly, in bhakti stage, you want to overcome from material desire, but all these nonsense things come in your mind. Called Vishay Sangara. Niyam Akshama. Niyam Akshama means Niyam Akshama. When you join something, then Niyam Akshama. Niyam means rule and regulation. Akshama means unable. So, which you have taken vow in front of Gurudev. In front of other Vaishnavas during fire sacrifice, who will be taken as Jaka tomorrow here, headed by Sivadarana Maharaj. So you take so many vows, I shall do this, do that. You take the rule and regulation, but you don't maintain. Just like it is mentioned in <coughs> scripture that whenever you will <coughs> doing your all city anything, it, you could not give them up. But sometimes your kids are sweeping, then you give it up. You take two vows, I should not do that. But you are coming 
giving up that or see. But another also here, to whom you are initiated or an exalted person is coming. This is a rule and regulation, hard and fast rule for or see parish should not give up, or see parish should not give up chanting in mid-way, unless something has come to the round. But if Gurudev has come, any exalted Vaishnava has come, you have to come and pay your obeisances, have to satisfy them, again taking order from them, you have to go again for your spiritual service. If you do not do so, it is offense. Oh, what shall I do? This is my rule and regulation, I do not give it up. This is not proper. So, Niyam Akshama and Niyam Akshama, you are not an unable to maintain your rule. So, Niyam Akshama and Taranga Rangini. When you are chanting, remembering, doing Kirtan, you are doing Kirtan or being Savan, doing Savan or Kirtan or other thing, some desire is coming but they could not take you away completely. So, they are like Oye, Taranga means oye, rangi means the playing. The desire of, the oye of material desire, oye being in your heart, then during Savan Kirtan, this desire is coming, but they could not take you completely, like you are chanting Gayatri, sometimes forget, but it is coming, but it should not forget your mantra still is chanting. This type of stage called Taranga Rangini. So, when you overcome from these six stages, Few more things there is salvation from Guru Dev Thank you. So when you come in the overcome this stage, then straightness will come, then you can advance in Krishna consciousness easily. Hare Krishna. Pancha Kuru Bhaskar Bhakti Guru Dev Thakam Bhakti Guru Dev Thakam Bhakti Guru Dev Thakam Bhakti Guru Dev Thakam Bhakti in the guidance of Krishna. Nama Parath will go there. And you should know what are Nama Parath. And then, when Nama Parath will come, then continuous it may be that, oh, Nama Parath may come. And it is very good symptom. First, oh, always Nama Parath. And after that, Oh, as much as your <coughs> understand the way now, it may be that time to time, very rare, Nama Bhasma will come. More advanced than oh, more Nama Bhasma. All kinds of bad things will go away. Now, no chance of Nama Parat, Vaishnava Parat, Guru Bhagya Parat, and others. And then, gradually, it may be that sometimes rare flow now may come. But as much as you have, oh, what do you think? What do you think? That honors pure now will happen. If pure now comes, the symptom is that you will always be happy. Some realization will come. And this state will be of Anarthi. Before that, Pradhat is under Thaitan. And what he told six stages of Anishita Bhakti has done. Yet so many are there. Then what are they? They are loyal. They change Akhti Bhakti, Kasaya, Kasaswa, Aranya Maharaj, we explain. You should come here.
What are they? Alive, Rikshe, Akratipati, Kasai, and Rasasvadan. So I'll mention them briefly one at a time. First one is called Lai. Lai means sleepiness. Hmm? At the time of chanting Harinam, at the time of remembering one's Gayatri Mantras, at the time of hearing Harikata, then oh, one may feel some tiredness and then fall asleep. So this is called Lai. This is also of three divisions. Hmm? The, the sleepiness which comes at the stage of remembering, hmm? this is mild. The sleepiness which comes at the stage of hearing is stronger. And the sleepiness that comes at the stage you will sing in the kirtan, this is very severe. <laughs> <laughs> if you fall asleep during your own kirtan, this is very severe. <laughs> if you fall asleep while hearing from someone else, oh, this is also strong. But, Hmm? If you fall asleep during remembrance, this is mild. But all three, they have to be overcome. That sleepiness never comes. We don't find that this lie happens during taking Mahabharata. <laughs> 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 because of that Mahabharata. That is extremely severe. <laughs> <laughs> because of Mahabharata. <laughs> 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 so first thing, oh, we have to try to overcome lie or sleepiness. The next stage is called Vikshet. Vikshet refers to the interruptions which come into our mind. It means that the devotee, he is not feeling sleepy and he's trying to hear, chant and remember. But at the time of being engaged in bhakti, as he's remembering the Supreme Prasad in Godhead, he's remembering Vrindavan, remembering Jamuna, the beautiful birds and humming of the bees, and then the next minute some Hmm? Science fiction movie comes into his mind. Yeah. Hmm? Lord of the Rings or anything. <laughs> and then his whole meditation is completely finished. And again he tries, and again interruption comes. Again, he try, again interruption comes. This stage is called eviction. Then the devotee, he goes a little further. Now he is not affected by tiredness. And his mind is not interrupted by so many thoughts, yet he's feeling indifference. He has no the deep attachment at all for the subject matter. It's as if, oh, he has no feelings in his heart, dry. It's called apratipati. That means the indifference that one feels despite the absence of lie and viksha. That is called apratipati. The indifference that we feel despite the absence of lie and viksha. The next stage is called Kasai. Kasai refers to the um, one's impetuous nature to spontaneously, without any warning at all, to, to become involved in anger or in envy of others. The devotee, most of the time, his behavior is okay, very well behaved, then all of a sudden, some situation comes and he becomes angry or against someone for irrational. In psychosis, not hatred for no reason. Oh, why is it going on? Well, this is called Kasai. The innate tendency to become impetuously involved in some anger or envy or for no reason at all. Though it is not one's general nature or behavior. So this is called Kasai. The final one is called Ras Aswadan. It means that the devotee he is trying to do his better. But some feelings of mature enjoyment come into his mind. And instead of forcibly driving them away and again engaging his mind, he is just relishing a little. Yeah? In, just, actually he's not. Only internally he's remembering some of the tastes which are arising from impressions, from engaging in sense gratification in this life and in previous life. So due to those impressions, the tendency to enjoy some material flavor comes into the mind. This is called Rasa Swada. So when the devotee has gone through the stages of the Utsamai, Ganatarla, Vyudavikalpa, Vishai Sangara, Nenyalakshama, Taranga Rangini, and he's overcome the five obstacles in the form of Lai, Vikshe, Apratipati, Kasai, and Rasa Swada, then 
it can be seen that that devotee has entered into an initiative of bhakti or steady performance of devotional service. What he explained in the last, even some anatha, not pure nishtas. Two things are there. You have done some in past your life, in past life. You have done some good things and some bad things. So the result may come. So it may come and you can be, you can have to face a problem. But there are four. But even if you have done okay before your past life's impression, it may be that very easily you can attain so much wealth, reputation, and also <coughs> somewhat position. Speed, voice, go Kirtan, and all the appreciating, and especially our beautiful ladies will be very much charmed, and they will come and want to serve you, will, they will want to serve you, and then what will be? Oh, you may be, your national hero. Shasak should be. Yes. It is uh, each other for very soon, for very soon. I have explained what we meant, but it is for also. We should be always careful of these topics. We should always try to keep Guru, Gauranga and Krishna in our heart. Not we should not be one for others, worldly things. Otherwise, oh, fear, certainly it is, it is bound to come. So always try to be Radha Krishna, Guru, Dhamma, and others. Guru. And be always in association and sincerely for. You should not be bothered for others. So, then, Nishtha Nishtha. Otherwise not. Nishtha or the devotee in the stage of Nishtha, very rare. Very rare. I want that you should all be in that rare devotee. Whether the rest are? The object should be to place Guru and Goga and Krishna. Then you can have Nishtha Bhakti. And then this Nishtha Bhakti is now, uh, Nishtha, then Ruchi make thick, very thick Nishtha is called not anything. In some advanced state, this Nishtha, it turns out into the or Ruchi. The difference between Ruchi and Nishtha is that. By mind, no. with some intelligence, intelligence, or Nishtha may come. If Nishtha is there, even anything <coughs> pretty not, we have a taste for that. Oh, I have to do. If any medicine is so bitter, bitter but it is good for him. Especially, you know, me, me. Very bitter, but for, for help, better. So many things are. So, we start that stage. And when Ruchi becomes, no effort, no intelligence, automatically, 
whether you want or not. Krishna, Harikata, and all. In all, if you be rich. This Ruchi is also of two kinds. Mara, Patmana, Mara,
you try to blow up your cheeks like that and laugh at the same time. If you try it, you'll see it's impossible. So to have enthusiasm and taste in this world and expect Ruchi to come for chanting the holy names is impossible. An example of enthusiasm or Ruchi in chanting is Srivas Thakur, the associate of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He had so much enthusiasm in chanting that once when there was Sankirtan in his house, his son died right in the middle of the kirtan. And he was so absorbed in pleasing Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and so absorbed in kirtan that he had no care about what happened to his son or he had no care about his family members at that time. In order to be enthusiastic, Utsahan Nishchaya uh, convinced patient Taryat that taste in bhakti must be there. So Shiva's Thakur was telling his family members, if any of you interrupt this kirtan now and disturb Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I'm going to at once jump in the Ganges. But because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, he knew that the son had died. So he went into the room and told the son, now open your eyes. So the son did so. And Mahaprabhu said, so do you want to come back now to your family? And the boy, who also had so much taste, said, no, I have no interest in coming back because I'm tasting so much more now in my bhajan than I did before. I'm very happy where I am. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu then said, okay, stay where you are. So at the end of this class, we asked Gurdiv, how could this boy have been willing to leave the taste of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's association and say, no, I'm more happy now. Gurudev explained that he was tasting the fruit of his service to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and that is now he had taken birth somewhere where Krishna was performing his Prakat Lila in the womb of a gopi, and now he was practicing to be a maidservant of Srimati Radhika. So this is where taste goes. Shiva Sakura Chilgurudev explained is the perfect example of this taste because the verse that describes Ruchi as given by Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur in his Sri Shikshastakam and Sri Bhajanarhasya is the fourth verse of Sri Shikashtakam, which is Nadanam Najanamana Sandarim Kavita Mahajagadi Shakamani Mahajanamani Janamani Swari Bhagata Rabhakti Rahoi Tiki Toi Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying, Oh my Lord, I have no desire to enjoy wealth or women or followers or as Kurde said, for women, men and followers. I have no desire to be a great poet, enjoy beautiful poetry. I don't even mind if I take my birth again and again, as long as I have your unalloyed service. But where does he want to take his birth? In this subject matter of Ruchi, Srila Gurudev gave the example of Brahma. Brahma prayed that it doesn't matter what species of life I may take my birth in. It can be grass or creepers as long as it's in Vrindavan, so that I can get the dust of your devotees when they go to perform pastimes with you. Or Shura Bhakti Vinodhapur had so much taste that he prayed, it doesn't matter if I take my birth in a bird species or an insect species, as long as I take my birth in the house of your devotees and as long as the taste for chanting your holy name increases at every moment. As Sri Bhakti um, Maharaj mentioned, there are two stages of Ruchi. 
in the last stage of Ruchi, Bhakti Vaishishya Anupeshana Ruchi, which doesn't depend on nice voice or the deities being dressed very beautifully. Even if the deities are not well dressed, even if somebody is singing with not a very nice voice, still that devotee who's in the advanced stage of Ruchi will experience very great taste, not in the song, not in the brass or the cloth of the deity, but in bhakti, in his relationship with Krishna. And Srila Gurudev gave the example of Bhansi Das Babaji Maharaj, who is the um, proprietor of the temple of Sri Sri Gornatai in his own home. And even they weren't very nicely dressed, he had so much taste in their service that his relationship with them, with his service to the deity, was so intimate. He had none at all attachment for any feelings of this world. But he had so much attachment for the deity that he would say in his intimate relationship, O oh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, you're very naughty. Nityananda is good, but you're very naughty. You remember what you did today? I was trying to pick flowers for you. And I was reaching out to get flowers from a garden. And some boy pushed me out and fell down. And I injured myself. And you didn't even save me. So therefore, I'm not going to cook for you anymore. You'll have to starve. Or you're quite capable. You can just cook for yourself. So in this way, his relationship was full of taste that didn't depend on any external situation. The devotee's taste is for Krishna and the symptom is that he has no taste for material enjoyment. And this comes as the fixed stage of nista or steadiness and firm faith coming from Sadhu Sangha. You have heard about Guru. And very soon, in six months, he took darshan of his deity, Narayan. But his bhakti was not pure. No ruchi. No is nishtha at all. Nothing was there. Oh, it is nishtha. And Ruchi was in wealth and kingdom. So, Vyati it was like a fruitive karma. So, his bhakti is not bhakti, pure bhakti, but bhakti. Oh, karma vishya. It cannot give you, oh, glow, brindavan and love and affection, even praying or anything. Even not rati, not Ruchi. So, he had no Ruchi for that. It may be that after that, Nath may have come here to him, his Gurudev, and he had instructed, Oh, this is Bhagavad Gita. Now you should chant and remember Krishna. And thus, he may have a Ruchi. Otherwise, his Bhakti is not pure. So, we should think that this is not pure. You have heard about Bhakt Maharaj. He had Ashakti even more advanced than Guruji. And that is why when Ashakti came in chanting, remembering, meditating, then he left his house. If he will <coughs> follow pure bhakti, and Guruji will come, or Ashakti may come, then oh, he will have no Test for worldly things. Raghunath Das Goswami, his wife was Mishi Divas. He was too health, wealthy, very beautiful, young, energetic. His father, two fathers, like, they loved him so much. And he was heir, heir of successor of that kingdom. But what came? Very soon. He was detached from all. He was <coughs> hearing, meditating, chanting, hearing Harikatha. 
then two things are bound to come. Vasudeva Bhakti, Bhakti Yoga Prayogita, Janyata Asu, Vairagya, Gyanancha, ahead to come, easily, all kinds of knowledge come to me. All kinds of, that is Jnana. And what is Vairagya? Oh, so much attachment to Krishna that all detachment will go. So if two things are not coming, and you are chanting remember for years and years, oh, you should think that your bhakti is not going. Even a slight lust is not going, but the desires are not going, and you want to, huh, like a Raman, oh, hundred, or how, how many wives? So many. So many. And so many children, how many? One, One lakh of sons and... One hundred thousand. Oh. And so many wives and wives. Even he wanted Sita. And Sita came at his death and he was murdered with his whole head. There was none to give him water. So you should think. Why not a detachment is coming? Why no special attachment for Krishna is coming? If attachment will come, oh like Mahaprabhu left at, at once, his mother was old, no source of income, newly married his Vishnu Priya, so one side, always in certain mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But Mahaprabhu like oh very cruel. He left. I think so many of you have left these things. So it must come. Otherwise, if detachment is not coming and all kinds of knowledge are not coming and pure bhakti is not coming, though your guru is bona fide, but you are kulanga. Kulanga, you know? Anga, look at man. Like a black spot. Like a black spot. A family. In a family like a fire. Black sheep. Black sheep. Black sheep. You will burn all of you. Like not, uh, uh, Raman Pati. He was the son of Rasta Rishi. And brother of Kubeli. But what became? So Rishi. Remember all these things. So if your bhakti, even ruchi comes, then. So Bharat was in this stage of Ashakti, he left all these things. In his half age, half age means middle age. At that time, his age was about more than 5,000 years. In a certain he left his all wealth, reputation, position, wife, seed, <coughs> and then he went to forest. That he always remember and charm. After that, one day he was chanting and remembering. Oh, a dear, dear thing. And he was grazing there on the bank of a river, a very small narrow river. And at that time, very near a line was roaring. <laughs> she saw that all day had come. At once she jumped over the river. But his she was pregnant. pregnant and the baby came out and he was drowning in the and she mm, crossed, the river. crossed the river, but at once she was going to die. She looked with pathetic eyes towards her. Oh, you are doing bhajan. My children is going to die. And you are sitting and chanting. <laughs> Please, you are sitting. He read her eyes and he came and took. 
that boy in his hand. And he was become so much attached that you know all. So much. And gradually he oh, gave up chanting. Always that is coming. Because attachment was there, not to Krishna. He forget. Attachment was, but oh, bad association coming. And he has so much affection, attraction for this dear. And after when, after some time, when they came, and he saw that that dear jumping, he had joined his uh, family. And then he was crying, oh, dear, where you are, where you are, glorifying. Oh, very good. <laughs> and thus, and he became dear. But he had come up to the stage of, that is, Ashakti, or beginnings of, he remembered, oh, what mistake, wrong I have done. And very soon he gave up that but, um, body of and he became he came in the birth of Bharat Mahara Bharat Maybe Oh he wanted to be discharged from gold. And he did and the rest you know. So you should try to realize this fact. If you want to develop in Krishna Bhakti, even a person who has Ashakti, a stage of Ashakti, <coughs> and he fell down. But, but there is some but. That only for three births. <laughs> because he had Ashakti stage. Ashakti And he had done no offenses, offenses of any Vaishnava or Krishna. That was the reason. So if anyone, even in this stage of poverty, he will make some criticize, he may criticize any guru, Vaishnava, doubt in Krishna. By bad association, association, then he may fall down. So Bhakta is like this. So you should all try to realize this. Don't be attached to anyone. Even you have missed her, even. Don't. If you are in family life, no harm. But don't be attached. You can do your responsibility. But not attached in family or try to attach to God's Krishna. And then, thus, it may be that the Rati may come. When Rati will come, then what will be? What is Rati? Shuddha Sattva. Vishesh Atma, Prema Sujjansu, Shandava, Rutini Chitta Mahasri, Kridasau. But first, we should know what is Sadhana. What we are doing, it may be not Sadhana, it may be semblance of Sadhana. Otherwise, so many good results have come. So, you should know what is Sadhana. Kriti Sadhya, Bhavit Sadhya, Sa Sadhana Pida, Nitya Siddhasya Prabhasya. So, we will explain all very important things tomorrow. Come positively at 5 or before 5, you should be present here. I will try to come at your very punctually. Before five thirty, I'm fine. I wanted to come at five, but oh, so many devotees meeting me there. So you should be punctual there. Don't delay one minute. Very precious. I've come for India. Oh, old days. You you can. No. So don't miss one second. I see that so many. Or uh, uh, walking there, here, uh, or no harm, or half hour past. Uh, but they have nothing to do. 
for years and years. We are hearing what is new, nothing new. So this is that. Now, uh, there is from out there, they are ready. They are ready. Who is conducting? You? Very soon they should come, see it. Otherwise, I may go. Hare Krishna, the devotees, this morning, I proceed to initiation. We will not request. This drum was taken from a class by Shukriya in Australia. This history shows that the world is a burning fire and that we are in that fire. We should try to know all these things. Don't waste your time. Try to develop Krishna consciousness. If you are married, no harm. Along with your wife and children, you should try to be detached. You should think, I should serve my wife or husband and children because they are eternal servants of Krishna. Therefore, I should help them. Male devotees should try to become like Srila Raghunath Das Goswami. Srila Sarathi Goswami had to be like Ganga Matatakarni. She never dreamed of marrying any worldly person. Those two, even while remaining situated in their established social positions, throw away the process of speculative knowledge and with their body, words, and mind, offer all respects for your lordship although you are otherwise unconquerable by anyone within the three worlds. If you are married, okay. If you are not married, you are renounced, okay. But hear Harikita wherever you are, and in whatever position you are. Offer pranam to that place of Harikita. Offer pranam to the speaker, organizers, and to the whole audience. And then, very soon, you will have sadhana bhakti, bhava bhakti, and prem bhakti. Try to realize all these things. These are truths. Once, there was a very beautiful girl in East Bengal named Sachi Devi. She was the daughter of the king of Putia. From the very beginning of her life, she heard about Krishna and gave her whole heart to him. When she was about five years old, she used to worship Krishna, sing to him, play with him, and do everything with him. Sachi Devi was about 16 years old. She became totally mad for Krishna. She was not only beautiful, but she was very intelligent, and she also studied Sanskrit and Bengali. Her father and mother were very worried for her marriage. Her father wanted to arrange her marriage with a very qualified, handsome young king, but Sachi Devi refused. They say, if a girl is chaste to her dharma, she will submit and serve a husband. This is the perfection of womanhood. She is like a golden thread that maintains the integrity of the entire community. Hey Prabhu, I can Hearty blessings to all who took part in drama. Very good, excellent. So first of all, I want to place my blessings to uh, those who com uh, compiled this story and drama play. Perhaps daughter of Nanda Gopal Prabhu. A daughter of what name? Madan Mohini. Madan Mohini. My blessings to you. My blessing to daughter of king. Oh, very good. And then Ganga, uh, Ganga Mata Thakurani. And between another. 
the disciple of Haridas Thakur. He was disciple of anyhow in the line of Gadadhar Pandit. So he, those he was not ex, taking, accepting any disciple, but he accepted her as the disciple. And then she went to Radha Kund and became perfect. And then by the order of that Haridasta, oh, where, where is Haridasta? Oh, my blessings to you. You should try to be like Haridasta. <laughs> and then, oh, that uh, princess, what? Princess Sachi Devi. Sachi Devi. Oh, by the order of Yeri they went to Jagannath Puri. And there she wanted to discover the place of Sarbhom Bhattacharya. And she went there. Of oh, very sweet glasses, very sweet glasses, <coughs> like Haridas Thakur himself, or oh, like other devotees, very elevated. All were shocked. Even king, oh, my blessings to the king. <laughs> <laughs> and then. Uh, father of Sachi Devi. Oh, what to do? In the last, he took decision that my daughter should go to Vrindavan, to his most beloved Krishna. So, my blessings to oh, eh? Bhajandanandan Prabhu. And Sachi Devi who was in Haridashtha to Haridashtha, what Manjiri, Manjiri Devi, and my blessings to her. And then, huh? Premamai. Premamai. Oh, Premamai. Oh. Jagannath, Lord Jagannath, was so merciful that he ordered that you should accept. Oh, Sachi Devi, as your disciple. 